Hillary Clinton is not the only person who arrived in Las Vegas earlier today. That is where we find Cake on Night political reporter Dave Bryan, who joins us now with a preview of tomorrow night's <laughs> third and final presidential debate. Dave, good evening. Yeah. Hi, Jeff. You know, the Thomas and Mack Center behind me is where that debate will take place. But tonight it's pretty quiet because law enforcement officials are carry carrying out a massive security sweep. And it's a large building. It could take until 2 o'clock tomorrow morning, they say, to finish that sweep. Tight security here. Journalists descending now on Las Vegas, not only from all over the country, but all over the world. And some international journalists told me their countries are still trying to figure out Donald Trump. Even as the preparation for the final 2016 presidential campaign debate moves into high gear, there is anticipation and concern about this event, not just across the U.S., but around the world. More evidence that when American presidential candidates debate, the whole world is watching, including Poland, where Marcin Rona of TV and Poland says there is great interest in Donald Trump. We have reported many, many times that uh, Donald Trump's statements on Russia, on Vladimir Putin, are uh, somewhat questionable. We don't really know what he means, and uh, we remember that the only thing that Trump's people pushed for when the uh, uh, platform was drafted in Cleveland was getting rid of condemnation of Russia's actions in Ukraine. Why? We would like to know more about that. And Voice of America correspondent Roman Mamonov from Russia is also covering the debate. His reports are seen in Russia, Eastern Europe, and Israel. In Russia, it's interesting. Uh, it seems like people actually really like Donald Trump and uh, the interest about how what kind of views he has for policy. In Israel, it's, in, it's interesting because, you know, two different candidates has different views, and especially latest revelations from WikiLeaks question, uh, you know, the Clinton's position. And, you know, for people in general in Eastern Europe, as I see that, uh, United States is just like an example of democracy. And a lot of people, and my friends, my colleagues, uh, and even my family in Russia, they actually say, like, what's going on, guys? In a campaign that seems to produce defining moments on a weekly basis, this final presidential debate could be the ultimate defining moment, not only for us in America, but for the rest of the world, too which is watching this campaign more closely than any other. Well, this debate could be do or die for the candidates, especially for Donald Trump. His challenge tomorrow is to turn things around and stop his declining poll numbers and do it pretty quickly. Hillary Clinton also facing a challenge to finally put to rest the email controversy, which she has failed to do after campaigning for a year. Jeff, Lena, back to you.